Hey, what's up, car shipping rock stars? It's your girl Ashley from Relogate.com. And in this video, we're talking about my three things that I see most newbie car haulers overlooking. Now, if you're planning to run a dually setup, then you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention. The first thing we're talking about on this list is safety equipment. Now you would think that since we're talking about safety, people would wanna play it safe, pun intended. If you're running a car hauling business, at the very least, you wanna make sure that you have a fire extinguisher and definitely check it every six months or so to make sure that it's properly working. Also on this list of safety equipment is Safety cones, just in case you break down, you wanna be able to have your safety cones or safety triangles to put out so that way you can properly protect yourself and your equipment. And last but not least on this list of safety equipment is a measuring stick. Now I know we spoke about this in previous videos, but it's important that you know the height of your equipment at all times. And as you know, as you load and unload vehicles, the height will change because every vehicle height is different. The next thing on this list that most newbie car haulers overlook is decals. Now, when you see big name companies driving down the street, you notice that they have their name written on the side of their trucks. This is beyond aesthetic purposes or excessive marketing reasons. In fact, it's required by law that you at the very least have your company name as well as your MC and DOT numbers. So make sure that you have a decal on the side of your equipment, even if you're running a dually setup. Also be sure to check with your state for IFTA or portion tag requirements by law. Last but certainly not least is drug testing. You need to make sure that whether you're driving for yourself or you have somebody driving for you, that you have some type of drug test result on record done at a legitimate facility. You're gonna to wanna to keep this in your business binder. A business binder or whatever you wanna call it, I like to keep things organized and being organized is one of my keys to success. So grab a binder, you can get it from Office Depot or Walmart, wherever, Target, and just get a basic black binder. And inside, you're going to want to put all your documents that you might need in the event that you get pulled over, you're in an accident or anything like that. Along with all these documents, you want to make sure that you keep record of drug testing. So there you have it. This is certainly not an extensive list of all the requirements you need to be legal, but this is just my top three things that I notice a lot of newbie car haulers overlook. And these are things that are very important to the success of your business and at le the very least making sure that you are legal if in the event something happens or like I said before, you get pulled over. Now it's your turn. If you have something that you wanna to contribute to the list, leave it in the comments below. Also, if you found that one of these things you might have simply overlooked, I want to know about it. Leave that as well in the comments below. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ashley from ReloGeek.com. Now get out there and make moves happen. I will see you guys in the next video.